Time to put a needle in your chest. I don't know, it's kind of like, this is a staple of our marriage. Do you want to tell him your trick? <laughs> I don't know if Peter said good morning yet, but I came downstairs and um, I looked out the front door and he's helping a neighbor plant a tree, but I'm sure he'll be back soon. Just gotta plant a tree. Good morning, guys. Tree planting went well. We got the tree planted. in the ground and planted and watered. And now it's time to put a needle in your chest. Yes, I'm planting things all left and right today. Planting a needle in my chest? Yeah. I just realized that this like hoodie thing mm -hmm. is perfect for a port day. Yeah, because it could, the buttons go down deeper than a normal. That's good. That's great. All right. Let's get this party started. Let's get this party started. What kind of party are you going to? <laughs> get a little Even though I make this face, I'm actually really, really thankful that he does this because before he did it, I did it. And last time I tried doing it to myself, I like had a brain stop. Like my brain was like, don't stick the needle in there. And I was like, stick the needle in Mary, Mary, stick it in. And I couldn't like, make, I did end up putting it in there, but it, I got it in the wrong spot. I don't know. It's a new port. I think. I think because this is a monthly occurrence for, like, for me, with the exception of maybe a handful of times that someone else has done it. Um, I think in our marriage, somebody else has done it three times, maybe. Yeah, so what I was going to say was the fact that, like, every month for the last nine and a half year, or nine years, um, Harry wants to walk on the painting. That's not cool. Yeah, every month. Every three weeks, typically, for IVIG. Yeah, but before that, every month at least, we would be doing this, and like, I think it brings back, like every time I'm like, emptying these onto the, uh, table, it brings back, like, memories of places we've done this, and like, I mean, I always think of the storage unit where we did it, and... Yep. Uh, all right, so let's do a checklist. We got saline, needle, cap. That's all we need for a flush. And then my heparin, but I have that. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, so I don't know. It's kind of like this is a staple of our marriage. Yeah, and it's kind of like no one would ever choose this as like the activity they do with their husband every three weeks to a month. But since it's our life, I guess he's making the point that, well, it definitely builds memories, especially when you have to do it at a storage unit. Well, and yeah, and you just like embrace this. This is like part of our story and like, I don't know. Don't, don't run from your story, I guess what I'm saying. Don't run from your story. Good word. Skittle, bro, dink, you dink. Oh man. I have extras upstairs. Sometimes He's the green. gloves are, the green ones are, the purple ones are way better. I have, is it, I asked for extra purple ones. Is it like a certain brand that puts the purple ones in there? Uh, I don't know because this is like specific to the, uh, this is Corum. I feel like sometimes they put the purple ones in there. That's weird. I do not know. Sometimes I rip the green ones when I'm putting them on. Cause he's Hulk. Yeah. And my hands are sweaty, so there's a lot of, a lot of resistance. Okay. I am sterile. First step, chloro prep. We couldn't make a wrap. First step, get sterile. Second step, chloro prep. <laughs> Wow, don't hire me for a wrap. Inside it. Oh, I... oh no! Well, oh no, it's just a FedEx delivery. Oh, okay. Whew. I was like, well, we're not going. I mean, that happened last time. Yes. Oh, not last time, but one time we did this on Halloween. Great, not a great idea, because trick or treat. <laughs> like, but it was, it was after all the trick or treaters. Yeah, we had put the bucket out So there. we thought. 
My old port was like right here. Yeah. Yeah? That was way better. Well. I do not recommend port in muscle over here. You've never talked about that before. <laughs> I feel like I need to be very open about that. Mm-hmm. Don't want to lead people astray by the placement of your port. Yeah. I'm gonna hook this stuff up. Buttercup. I've been on a bird painting frenzy. Frenzy. Bonanza. Bonanza. Yeah, she is getting really good at I'm words, guys. I'm trying different techniques, like either sketch it out first, or this one I did not sketch out for first. And it's... Okay, so what does this remind you of? When we were in Scotland, yeah. and the first time we accessed my port there, in the hospital, <laughs> they like gave me. A, did we ever? Have we already talked about I this? I don't know if we ever talked about this. They gave me a test, like a proficiency test, which I get. Like, yeah, I get it. We're new to their center. They want to make sure we know what we're doing. We're like we're we're independent. They're like, okay, but you got to show us. So I get that. But so I'm doing it, and whenever, like we did this at home, and so whenever we run the saline through the line, so it's priming the line. Um, I always just like do it over. Yeah, because it's like five drops of water. You don't want to do it onto your sterile field. No. You, like, where are you going to do it? I always do it onto the floor. We do it at home. <laughs> but uh, we were in the hospital and they, what, what they were like, oh, no, 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 don't put it on the floor. And we like, were like, wait, what? What happened? What did we do? I was and like, because I'm like trying not to do anything wrong. Yeah, well. It's like, what did just, I do wrong? And she's Do you need me to get the mask out of your eyeball? You know, that would be pleasant. Okay. We should keep that mask when you're done oh, yeah. because there's like a mask shortage and I That's still true. have a good stock, but I just want to be safe. P.S. Don't stockpile masks. I, I, I read that. Okay. On the internet. I don't know if it's true. Can you turn toward me? Thank you. Did I tell him your trick? <laughs> My trick is I like use a finger and scratch my leg at the same time as he's about to do the uh, put the needle in. That way it'll like distract my body. Oh, funny! I used a, a twenty-two gauge instead of a twenty gauge. Blood, mm. blood return. A lot more. Twenty-two gauge is smaller than a twenty gauge. Yeah. So it felt stiffer. Yeah, you are released. Okay. Bye. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, ma'am. So I just flush with some saline. And since I'm only gonna be accessed for like 1.3 minutes, I don't, we don't put a dressing on or anything. Flush the heparin in. And the way I de-access with this particular needle I press the plastic bit down and that braces the port. So this, it's locked now, but it's up here when you start. So you press on it and pull the wings back and it like braces the port and then pulls the needle out. It's great. I used to be really against these needles because of all the extra plastic. And now I believe in them. I'm a fan. Plus, We've gotten it figured out because of where my port is. It's like in a weird spot. So when I'm accessed for the whole week, if I move my left arm wrong, the needle comes out. It's ridiculous. So we've gotten it down to a science with this needle. We put gauze here, we put the dressing this way, we put the, and then I still can't, I still can't really move my arm a whole ton when I'm accessed. But at least if I do have to reach for something, it, the needle isn't gonna come out. Crazy, okay. All right, that's our morning so far, 11.30. I've gotten a text from CVS Pharmacy that I'm ready to pick up my medicine. So I'll need to do that later. But yeah, that's our morning. And now I've taken over the table even more. <laughs> so I guess we'll go put this in the sharps container and move on with our day.
done. I know what I forgot. My red inhaler, Simbacort. <clears throat> Maybe that's part of why my lungs don't feel awake. This dressing change kit comes with a pair of tweezers, which I have a pair. I kept a pair out of one of the dressing change kits because after you're done, all of this is obviously no longer sterile, so you can't use any more for like your port stuff. But if you needed Steri strips for, I don't know, a wound on your leg or something, you could, depending on the application, that's what I'll say. If it doesn't need to be sterile, you can reuse this stuff for other stuff. Oh, I think this is what I bought. I didn't know this came in here. I think that's what I bought on Amazon when my feeding tube was having like a ton of issues with like getting a rash, not a rash, but it was just getting really irritated. Anyway, my nurse recommended that I buy some of this and I did. So I'm gonna keep that because it is not super cheap. Um, the other thing I sometimes keep is this little like paper ruler. It can come in handy sometimes. So I'll keep one of those and I'll keep this for my feeding tube. I don't need steri strips. I don't need an unsterile dressing. I don't need an alcohol swab, trash. All right, all right. Oh yes, we're gonna keep this mask because he only used it for a few minutes. And that's how I make them flat again. You just like pull left to right. Now, I wouldn't usually reuse a mask if I had been at the hospital or something because I had been breathing the hospital air and part of the reason we use a mask at the hospital is to filter out things in the air. Not only that, but to protect others, like other CF patients from me breathing. So since we were just at home and it's not hospital air and because there is a mask shortage, we are going to keep that mask. Well, that <laughs> is a wrap on this vlog for today. And as always, we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Ollie boy.